did it. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Game. Hello? Is anyone home? You must be the Greybeards. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me dragonborn, but what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. <laughs> Strike us with the power of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Not sure how to answer that question. The basic question is the Jarl of Whiterun told me that I should come and see you. So I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Really? Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. All right, well, I'm here. I'm ready to learn. I want more power. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, the second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Grow. I suppose I'm supposed to approach this glow, these words, this word, row. Yes. You learn a new word like a monster. Yes. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. What? I can feel the power. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. that 
Well done. Again. <laughs> you learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Which one is Bori? Ah, must be him. Well, at least they haven't said anything about me being naked. I had a lot more hair when I first started this pilgrimage. Hmm. gentlemen have an extra set of robes. I would accept it, though, that as a gift. I suppose not, then. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. Whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Yes, whirlwind sprint. Body and he will gift you this knowledge of wood. I can feel it. Now we will see how quickly we can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! What? Now it's your turn. Really? Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. I did it. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. I do have some questions. Why are the dragons returning, and does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Surely there's more you can tell me. 
There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. All right. Tell me then, who was Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. I see. So just what exactly is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinneris at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. All right. I will try to follow the way of the voice. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. All right. Thank you, Arngear. Sky? Got you. All right, I think I should take some time to pray. Her scene. Guide me. I am in your service now. Guide me as to what must be done next. Her scene is not chatty like Malakath. Not even in whispers. I suppose I'll just have to figure it out on my own. So they want me to go to a place called Ustengrav. I need to get down off of this mountain. on foot. Hmm. Frost, good to see you. Got a long journey ahead of us.
missed one of these. I don't think this was it, though. Another troll. All right, stay back, Frost. All right, come on out of those trees. See, did I stop at this one? Looks like I might have. Oh well, if I missed one, I'm just going to let it go at that.
Are you here for me? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Here. A letter. Not sure who from. Creepy fella. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Hmm. An unsigned letter. Let's see what this is about. to speak with you. Come and find us in the Frozen Hearth Inn. In the Frozen Hearth in Winterhold. We will be waiting for you. All right. Is there anywhere I can buy clothes? Try the inn. I don't think they have any general stores or anything around here. Maybe. We'll see. Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Not sure you should be walking around naked. I'm not sure I should either. Do you have any clothes you can sell me? If I were you, let's sate that appetite, hmm? Hmm, of course not. All right. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Hmm. Yes? What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? Well, you're looking at him. All right, let me see. This is a shame that here I am in the city. And there's no place that I can buy clothes. What, what's this over here? Someone's house. How about up here? Another house. And another house. All right, let's see where the nearest real town is. Decided to come to Riverwood and get some clothing. Maybe I can use their. What do you call it here? <coughs> the Blacksmith Forge. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I don't even know if I have any leather or anything. Let's see. Suppose that's a start. Next time you might want to get Oh. Yeah, you might want to get away from me. All right, what have you got for sale? Good. Take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let me... 
to get dressed. Okay, this is what I was able to throw together. sell off some more things here in the trader. Thank you. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. It was a pleasure. Now I need to head back to Whiterun and put some things up in my home. Oh, I'm changing. At least I can change in my home and be safe. Let me lock myself in the basement. Another outfit destroyed. All right, well, that was a night. A night to forget. All right, I have a sword that the Jarl gave me. I need to put it up some. Oh, Lydia, forgot you were here. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, Yes. Apparently you didn't hear me come in last night. Good thing I locked myself in the basement. I hope you're settling in. Until next time. I see you have a room constructed here. Hmm, all right. Okay, let's put the Jarl sword up there. So I have a Malakath sword, the Jarl sword, shield of Isgrimor. Nice little collection. All right, have a good day. Let me go out here and see if I can find some clothes. It's still early. Maybe I'll do some reading. I've got these books. These werewolf books. I think I'll sit and read those for a while. All right. That was some interesting reading. I hope you've got something it's in my size. Some hmm. Blades, helmets, 
pretty much anything to suit your needs. and put on my clothes. All right, there we go. Good to see you again, friend. Thank you, you too. Need something? All right. I think it's time for me to get to Ustengrave.